Well, there she is, all out. Now I just get to finish taking the thing apart. Unfortunately for me, I don't think that the transaxle on this is going to be the same as the one over here in my Yard King. I believe the Yard King has a peerless transmission transaxle and this one here has a um, turbo gear uh, which is another brand but they still might be uh, compatible in that I might be able to modify it to make it work um, I've got to do some more investigation but I'm going to tear more of this apart and uh, scrap it out I'm going to try and take most of the wiring harness out of it uh, just because I can and not that I'll be using much of it when I put this motor into uh, the Arians Emperor but yeah there it is and uh, in all its glory needs a good cleaning and before I put it in the other one I'm going to adjust the valves on it I'm probably going to bolt it down or anchor it down somehow and run it till I get it warm so I can change the oil before I try putting it in the other mower. Uh, I might have some fitment issues with this. Um, and obviously the exhaust system is going to have to change. And that's not a problem. You know, I don't mind putting custom exhausts on it. You know, just like we did on the uh, Yard King. Well, you can't hardly see it because I'm behind the 8-ball. There it is. That one has a 20-horsepower V-twin. And we, uh, because of the plow got in the way of where the original muffler was, I made custom exhaust. Dual exhaust, man. Dual exhaust. And uh, those exhaust pipes are made out of a combination of bicycle uh, handlebars not much of that because most of the original exhaust was used just flip side for side to make it point back instead of pointing forward and then the long straight pieces those are off of a vintage kitchen table originally had a four mica top on it but it was in pretty poor shape yep that's what we made those out of so who knows what we're going to make for this Vanguard 12 and a half horsepower V twin. Hold on to your hats. We'll be bringing you back for now, more. What I'm going to do to remove this transaxle is four bolts in the rear axle. I've already undone two of them. And you can see the nuts are off there. And if I swing over here carefully. You can see one of the other ones over here, which I haven't received, removed any of them on this side. Now, when I get it, those bolts out, there is linkage underneath that has to be disconnected. Well, let's see what we can do here. what happens in the process. I'll move you over here because I gotta get where the uh, action is. Oh, 
Yeah, one's on the other side, it'll be right down. Okay. He shall come down now. I think so. There she goes. So I'm going to get the motor out, get the transaxle out. Well, there it is in the back of the truck. I probably should have had the uh, video camera going so you could see two old people loading that thing. Uh, I had my come along hooked to my eye bolt over my garage door header and had that on the back end. And I jacked it up high enough so that it could back under the back end of the uh, um, lawnmower frame. And uh, then I had my wife come out here and had her back the truck in underneath it while I lift the front up. And uh, we'll finagle in and back it up a little and that's going to the scrap yard. Uh, not the scrap yard, it's actually going to the dump. Um, and I've got to, I'm thinking about maybe putting the uh, mower deck on Craigslist. i got to blow it off and see what it looks like. It seems to be okay, but uh, yeah, I may just take it to the dump too. And somebody else can pick it up there. I've gotten enough stuff from there that... Uh, it's okay for me to give back, you know what I'm saying? Till next time, this is George, the Shade Tree Fix-It Man thing. Thanks for watching, for commenting, and for subscribing. And uh, you can do it too, even if you're an old guy like me. Bye for now. I can highly recommend this little impact driver. It's the less expensive of the ones that they have at Harbor Freight, but I'll tell you what, it does the job and does it admirably well. I don't get paid for this. Just letting you know, in case you're looking for one. Bye now.